the Tigers headed to Alabama for a junkyard brawl with some Bulldogs. Who came out on top? Stay tuned. GFN starts now. What's up, Graham fam, and welcome to GFN. I'm Damian Runnels. Alabama A&M started this season with more veterans than they've had in years, and Grambling faced off against the experienced Bulldogs with the core first-year HBCU players. First quarter, Justin Kelly breaks through the line and turns it up to get the Tigers inside the 10. Then Kincaid finds Devon Lindsay for a seven yard pitch and catch. Tigers on the board. Grambling forces the punt and Chad Williams with the nifty moves get the Tigers in good field position. Grambling takes over at midfield. After a nice drive, Kincaid finds Dominique Lee for the touchdown from five yards out. Second quarter. Alabama A&M starts moving the football down the field. D'Angelo Ballard breaks the pocket and gets nowhere. Tiger defense turning up the heat. The defense held strong and forced a field goal for the Bulldogs' first score of the game. But the Tigers right back at it. Dominique Leak with a nice footwork gets a big game for the Tigers. And then Linderman Brooks finds an opening on the sideline and turns on the Jets, a 48-yard breakaway to get the Tigers inside the five. Didn't get in, no problem. Chad Williams got that work for you from three yards out. Bulldogs not giving up, but large to Odarius Williams. Breaks loose with a grown man moves and takes it to the house for a 51-yard TD. Later in the quarter, speaking of grown man, Samuel Reese lays the boom on Ballard. And who's there to scoop up the fumble? Donovan McCray takes it 57 yards for his fourth defensive touchdown of the season. Third quarter. After a long drive, Ballard keeps it and shows off a few moves of his own to get the Bulldogs in for the score. But the Tigers march down and answer right back. Kincaid to Chad Williams with the monster moves and then went straight. Debo, my touchdown. Get off me. Later in the quarter, after a grambling fumble, the Tiger defense steps up and gets the ball right back. A few plays later, Kincaid spots Chad Williams again for a 29-yard strike. Grambling went on to score two more times. At Lewis Cruz Stadium, the Tigers beat the Bulldogs 56-17. Next up, the Tigers head to Shreveport to face the Hornets of Alabama State. Grambling started their nine-game winning streak last year against the Hornets. And senior linebacker Courtney Berry won 2015 SWAC Defensive Player of the Year. The All-American could join an elite group of players who've won all SWAC honors for four years straight. Join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember to tell a friend about GFN. I'm Damian Runnels. Thanks for watching. <laughs>